after almost three years in detention. The behind-the-scenes events of the past three weeks led to Michael Spavor and Michael Kovrig finally coming home. <laughs> Canada's Foreign Affairs Minister was on the tarmac in Calgary with the Prime Minister for that emotional homecoming. You could sense a collective uh, a sigh of relief from Canada and, and, and joy at seeing our two Michaels finally back on Canadian soil. He says the key was the U.S.'s deferred prosecution agreement with Huawei's chief financial officer, Ma Wang Zhou. Mark Garneau told Rosemary Barton Live Canada learned a few weeks ago the proposal had arrived between the Department of Justice and Huawei's lawyers. Meng Wanzhou uh, was ready to sign it and it, that it seemed acceptable to the Department of Justice. That sort of unlocked the whole process and, uh, and things happened extremely rapidly after that. So rapidly it caught Spavor's friends by surprise. To have it happen within 12 hours of me hearing the news about the deal uh, was extraordinary and uh, beyond my, uh, my wildest expectations. The expectation that it could take months for their return. People were donating to a fundraising page set up on Spavor's behalf to cover his living expenses, even as he was flying back to Canada. Uh, Michael, uh, we miss you here in Seoul. We love you. Uh, I have a bottle of North Korean snake liquor ready for when you come back to Seoul to, to see us again. Uh, we can't wait for that day. On this day, when the Michaels woke up free, they were faced with reports from Chinese media about their release. China has maintained their arrests had nothing to do with Meng Wanzhou. Today, media reports said they were sent home because they were sick. Kovrig's friend, also a foreign correspondent with The Star, says China has given itself away. For them to actually be on a plane two hours after Meng had left Vancouver, um, it just shows it was very blatantly linked. Three Sundays ago, Kovrig's wife and sister were marching through the rain in Ottawa to mark Kovrig and Spavor spending a thousand days in detention. This weekend, they were reunited at last. Joy, relief, overwhelming gratitude for everyone who has worked to make this day happen. So Ashley, what comes next for Kovrig and Spavor? Well, they haven't worked in about three years. Today, Minister Garneau didn't rule out compensation for the two men if needed. For now, though, they are starting their transition back to normal life and likely enjoying some comfort, something that officials also probably thought about considering the menu on the plane from Anchorage to Calgary. The Department of National Defense confirms the Michaels were served some real comfort food, ribs and mac and cheese, baked in Alfredo and aged cheddar sauce. Ian? That's a nice detail. Ashley Burke in Ottawa. Thanks. Thank you.